the f*** is going on, guys? We are back with another YouTube video, and we're here to tell you to drop the f*** out of school. No, we're not, no. We're here to talk about how to start up an online business, the five-step guide in 2020. Guys, Boom. it's five steps. We simplified all the things that we've learned over the years. Online business started 2020, drop the f*** out of school. What? Why does dropping out of school have anything to do with this video, man? Man, I just hyped on that last video when we told him to drop out of school. <laughs> Guys, I guess go check out that last video. Drop the out of school if you haven't seen it. Or by Highkey Wireless here, but it's highkeyco.com. Highkeyco.com backslash giveaway winner for free every week. It either would be completely fine with us, Boom. but let's get right into this video. We want to give you guys a bunch of knowledge and an actual guide that you can take step by step and implement yourselves. Right into it. All right, guys, so step number one is money, meaning you need to get money. Do you know how you get money? On your phone. Put around. Okay, you're, you're jumping way ahead. You're jumping to like step four. Dude, I'm making money literally right now. Okay, but number one, get money. If you don't have money and you don't have money in your bank account, nobody's going to want you. Um, you're not going to be able to start up a business because you're not going to have that money. So you got to find a way to get money. If that means getting a get job. Money. Outside of your skill set or something that you don't like doesn't matter. Get money. Yeah, That's you need to save up that money. Saving is important if you're broke as hell and you have no job, no companies. And you're okay, essentially, if you're a total zero, if you're worth nothing and you want to invest in yourself, you need to, you need to be, be like, hey, I'm worth nothing. I'm going to make nothing building my companies. Or you're going to go trade your time for dollars at a job. It's that simple. Yeah. You got to get money to build. Okay. I want to talk to the younger audience. Some people might be under 16 watching this and be like, oh my God, I can't get a job. I want to start my business and I have no ways to get money. Listen, there's so much opportunity out there for every single person and especially people under 16. There's single, there's just simple things like going to your neighbor's house and asking to mow their lawn using your, using your parents' lawn mower, mowing their lawn, lawn, that simple. If you're up here in the North in Canada, where we live you're more like asking people to, 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 to shovel their sidewalks but still same thing getting getting a couple bucks here and there adds up saving that and that brings us to number two wait wait Jordan, where'd you go what number two? Oh, you gotta have an idea oh shit you have to have an idea of what you're doing in life i mean it's that simple you have to know exactly what direction you're going in i mean if if you have to get if you really want to start something on your own but maybe you have to get a job that's okay so very simply put, where business starts from, any great product or service, where it all starts from, oh. is solving a problem. If you look at any of our businesses, our high key wireless earbuds solves the problem of corded earbuds. People don't have to listen to corded earbuds in the gym. Again guys, highkeyco.com, highkeyco.com backslash giveaway. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, so solving a problem. Basically, how you evolve in business is by solving bigger problems. So you're introducing yourselves to more p pieces of business. You're introducing yourselves to higher level people within business. And so you're solving their problems, which makes you more valuable in the marketplace. For example, with our client service-based companies, Heike Cloud and Heike Agency, we're solving the problem of, well, making our clients fully branded famous individuals on the internet we're giving them back their time yeah we're right. giving them back their time we're solving the problem of them having to figure out social media and branding and we're just, we're just taking it all yep, yep exactly massive massive problem for a very high level individual taking all that money too <laughs> the many hundreds <laughs> So a quick action plan for anybody listening to this video is simply thinking of some major problems in your life and how you could make that easier and how you could simplify it. And then also thinking about skills that you have and that you've studied in the past. For example, if you're good at English, maybe you could be a good sales copywriter, which is a very high paying job. It's simple things like that, solving problems. That's how we started with our wireless earbuds. It's that we wanted we wanted a simpler solution and we wanted something to not be pulled out of our ears, like with cord earbuds while we're working on stuff. Yeah, we've so, been wireless for like three years now. Uh, so that, that that's kind of where it all stemmed from. It was uh, creating a solution to one of our major problems in our lives and that's kind of how we've, we've done every single idea ever since then. And that brings us to number three, where you need to test your idea. In test the, the idea! Yeah, it's, to, it's called the idiot test to make sure that your idea 
isn't a stupid idea. Isn't that right, Joel? Well, let's be let's be real. Okay, there's a lot of stupid ideas. Yep, we we've had stupid ideas. Yeah, that's yeah. why that's why a lot of ideas are just ideas, and the real winners are ideas that are tested. Yeah, the real breadwinners. And that's why the it's real breadwinners are the tested ideas. We're giving this away on High Key Cloud, High Key Cloud on Instagram, wireless earbuds, cash, and iPhones. High Key Cloud on Instagram, guys. Okay, so. How do you test an idea? Let's go for the example of a service-based business. So let's go with the example of somebody who's good in English class and thinks that he wants to become a high paying skill as a sales copywriter. What do you do? You have no brand, you have no social, you have no social media presence, you have no website, literally nothing. What you do is you offer your services for free. Why do they offer their services for free, Jordan? Because they're worth nothing. Because they're worth nothing. Yeah. Exactly. At the beginning of starting your company, you have no money, you're making no money, you're therefore worth nothing, and all you can truly invest in your companies is time, therefore you should be doing everything for free in the beginning. That means if your company is making money, you reinvest into the company so it makes more money. Just makes sense this way. All right, Jordan. So we have a 16 year old or a 16 year old watching this video. Mm -hmm. He's like, okay, I want to become a sales copywriter. I literally have nothing on social media. Actually, mm -hmm. the things that I have on social media is pictures of my dogs and cats. And I want to be able to work for free. How do I get connected with the right people to offer my services for free in 2020? What service is a 16 year old offering? Sales copywriting. He's great in English class. Well, wouldn't it, like, wouldn't it make sense if you just got a freelance job on like Upwork? Exactly. Yeah. yeah okay. Exactly. So you go to Upwork.com, yep. get a freelance job. Go to Upwork.com. But if you're trying to grow a brand, I mean, the, you just start on Instagram, build your Instagram, uh, build your TikTok probably. If I was starting right now from absolutely nothing, I'd be focusing the hardest on TikTok because it's the best view arbitrage. Right now, we spend time on TikTok, we have almost 20,000 followers, whatever. But, but it's not easy. we don't spend most of our yeah. time there because we're already set up and uh -huh. fortified on Instagram. But you need to build your TikTok, you link your Instagram, link your YouTube, start a TikTok. Number one recommendation for all ideas for 16 year olds. Okay, now let's jump into number four. Congratulations, you've got the money, you've got your idea, you tested it, it kind of works, you can keep doing it, or you can afford to keep living and keep doing your idea. It kind of makes sense. It's time to network, okay? You're on Instagram, you need to be DMing, everyone in your niche okay dming everyone that's doing something like you're doing you got a clothing brand you're dming every rapper with over 10,000 followers on instagram saying hey i want to give you free clothes okay expect nothing in return you need to be making as many connections with like-minded influencers or people you want to associate yourself with in your future endeavors all right jordan can you give them a breakdown of how you would enter random people's Instagram DM just right at the beginning. You always want to give value. So uh, right now I'm in a position where I can actually sell through the Instagram DM. I, I'm making thousands of, as you know, thousands and thousands of dollars through Instagram DM for our company. We've actually had to cut the video several times because he just closed like a, a few deals for a couple grand each. Yeah, so yeah. I'm closing big deals through Instagram DM, but when you're starting out, you need to get, remember you're worth nothing. You're just starting out. Your ideas tested. Guys, if you it's take good. anything from this video, you're watching this, you're worth nothing. We're still worth nothing. <laughs> we are. In our respective fields. We're, we're like, worth nothing. Like we've yeah. come a little bit, three years in the game, but we're still worth nothing. Yeah. You're worth nothing. Give away your shit for free, okay? To all influencers, give away your stuff. To ask for nothing in return. If they like it, follow up. See if they want to post. If you got a little money to give them, to sign them on, to keep posting. You have more stuff to give them got to be a value proposition for them in the first place. Okay, that's pretty solid. So yeah, that's it basically right to uh, summarize. And collaborate. Like if you're just an influencer, say you don't have a product, not everyone wants to start an e-com company or service base, say you just want to create funny videos, so then you collaborate. Your value prop is is yourself and you're creative. So you, you want to collaborate. So summarize, basis of networking, it goes down in the Instagram DM. Oh, and don't one. just be like, let's collab. Like that's not getting any answers. Yeah. Let's but, collab. Like, yeah. Okay. You need to be specific. You need to come up with like an idea. Like why, why would they want to collab with you? And then explain that in the DM. Yeah. With a nice opener. Yeah. So number one, number one, it goes down in the DM. 100%. And number two, give value in the DM. You gotta okay. give value. Otherwise so now we're not going to answer you, but everyone answers their DMs guys. Everyone answers even the most famous celebrities answer the DMs. So let's rewind a bit and 
with people entering other people's DM and doing massive outreach, what should they do before that in terms of revamping their Instagram profile to match what they're producing? Like they have an idea, they tested the idea. Let's just, for example, it's a skill set that they want to offer for free to people. How, the, how should their Instagram page look? So when the people that they're outreaching yeah. to goes to their page, how should that look? So their bio has to reflect that. In your bio, yeah. you need to, it needs to be very clear what you're doing. Yeah. Your bio needs to pretty much explain it all. Very short though, like you can look at any of our social medias, uh, Jordan Lentz, Luke Lentz, Heike, actually your bio is a little messy. Jordan Lentz, Heike Co, Heike Cloud. You got a little too much going on in your bio. Do I? I feel, yeah. Anyway, Yo, I short and sweet guys, uh, use uh, emojis. Emojis before the uh, before the words. So Luke Lens, Jordan Lens, Heike Co, Heike Cloud, Heike Agency. Look at those Instagrams. You can copy our bio kind of template. Yeah. And content, guys. You got to be posting consistently, even on Instagram. The natural engagement is down, but TikTok is booming. Still got to be posting on Instagram. It's number one. And then be posting content in your niche and what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah. So don't be posting pictures of your dog or your cat unless you're trying to run a dog page. Yeah, or, or dog product, that would actually make sense. Those pages but, uh, can make money, I mean, yeah. not a lot. Yeah, be posting professional pictures, be posting you, you out networking with other people. Videos. Post, yeah, videos of you explaining things in your industry. That might come later when you when you get a bit more of your skill set. But yeah. yeah, that's the basis of networking. Let's move on to number five, the fifth and final step of how to start an online business in 2020. Number five. Ah, uh, number five. It's time to develop that brand, baby. Okay, you already done the brand, first baby. First. You already developed those first four steps. Your networking pretty solid. You got some influencers. You got some collabs going. Your idea, it's there. It could be something nice. Now it's time to develop that brand. Solidify those relationships. Keep networking. Keep building content. Keep building on whatever you're doing. You gotta establish what you're doing. Consistent content is brand. What it comes down to is literally constantly giving value. Giving value to as many people as you can, free value at the start, and then escalating it to just giving as much value. So like what yeah, we're doing- I, I hope we're giving you value right now. Yeah. It's like, we're gonna call you on your bullshit. There's shit ideas, okay? Uh -huh. Like your idea, it's probably shit. I'm not gonna lie, but you need to keep doing the shit, shit ideas uh -huh. to find the good one. Yeah, you're gonna have a good idea. Like, yeah, you have shit. You have probably more shit ideas than you have good ideas. If you think it's a good idea, test the idea. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Boom. You idea. Work to execute on the idea to see if it's actually a thing. Boom. That's yeah. it, guys. Go do it. That does it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment. Let us know what you think. We're gonna make more videos like these, top fives, top tens. Put some suggestions, maybe. Yeah, make sure you go to our YouTube channel, okay? Click that post notifications button and get notified every single time we post. That's all we ask. We out of here. Yeah. Peace. Peace.